I created a web app and I use the following tech stack Svelte.js for front end, C for creating a REST API, and PostgreSQL for creating a relational database. I used Svelte.js because I found it easier to learn and use than React.js. I use C++ because C++ is my favorite programming language and I always wanted to experiment building web apps or services using C++ as a backend. Uh, there are many frameworks in C++ which can be used for building web apps and web services. Uh, let me show you some of them. The first one is Crow which is a micro framework similar to Python's Flask. Second one is Drawgon, which is a modern C++ web application framework. Third one is TreeFrog framework, which is a high speed and full stack web application framework in C++. And there is Express C++, which is very similar to Express.js and is used for writing REST APIs. For this project, I use Crow. I had made a video before on how you can set up Crow in Linux. So do check that out. I use PostgreSQL because I wanted to use SQL database for this project and also I had worked with Postgre in the past. For using PostgreSQL in C++, there is a C library called libpq which provides APIs to be used but I wanted to use C++ and I was searching if there are any C++ libraries which can be used instead of the C library. I found libpqxx which is a C++ wrapper around libpq and I think it's a good wrapper library which uses modern C++. For JSON web tokens, I used a GitHub repo called JWT CPP which seems to be a good library for JWT. Also, I want to share some information. So if you go to this URL jwt.io slash libraries, so here you can find list of all available libraries for JWT. Uh, you can also filter them based on the programming language. So let's say if I want to check for C++, I can select C++ and I will be able to see uh, these many libraries for them. Uh, I'm using this JWT CPP here, this one, uh, because it seems to uh, have all features uh, properly supported. So this is the home page for the web app. As you can see, the web app is called My K Moments, and basically it is for storing uh, all your special moments of your life at one place. So what you can do is you can describe your moment. Um, you can uh, describe how you felt during that moment, and also you can add a photograph to remember the moment. So let's sign up and let's create a user. I will set the username as test user. I will set some birth date here, some email ID. Username will be test user. I will set a password and let's see if we can create an account. So it says uh, create account successfully. So let's go and log in. I will input my username and password. So this is the dashboard and you can see we can do many things here. For example, we can create a new moment. We can search moments by the title. We can sort them based on the date posted. Currently you can't see any pages here. Otherwise here it shows different page numbers. And here you can set how many moments you want to see per page. So let's try adding a moment. So let's put a title. I will put moment zero. This is the moment date. So I will choose some random date like 29 June. I will add a description. This is a sample moment. You can select um, how you felt during that moment. So I'll just add happy for now. And let's choose an image. I've selected an image of a bus. 
I'll write bus actually, and we will add the moment. And it says added moment successfully. So now we can go back to our home page. So you can see the moment which we added is shown here. This is the moment title. This is the description. This is the date of the moment and some metadata like when this moment was created and last modified. Uh, also, we can see that uh, it is showing page one here since now we have data. Let's have a look at these three buttons here. So this button is to view the moment. So let's click there. So this is how a moment is shown. You can see the title here, the date. We had added happy feeling. So you can see the smiling face here. This is the moment image uh, for red bus, which we had added. And here is the description. Let's go back to our dashboard. And let's click on the second button here for editing the moment. So here you can edit the moment. So let's try and change the moment title. So I will put it to something like a big red bus. So amazing. And also let's try changing the description. So I will add. I saw a big red bus on the street. It was an amazing bus, something like that. And let's try updating our moment. So you can see the moment has been updated successfully. And also if we go to dashboard, we can see the updates uh, are shown here the title as well as the description. So now we can also delete the moment using this third button here. And it will prompt you to enter this text in order to delete the moment. So I will just enter this. And now we can click on this delete button. So it has deleted the moment successfully and it automatically refreshed the page. Also, you can see um, here it shows the total moments uh, for a given user. And then we can just uh, log out from this application. Thank you for watching this video and hope that you found this information useful.